I'm late. I have 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to be so speedy. It's that. Why like just spray everywhere? Okay, I need to be so fast. I'm mean, genuinely like full on flash mode. It's always when I have these stupid hair rollers in that I can't wake up because like I have such a bad night's sleep. So that when I finally get to sleep, like I just can't wake up. I'm gonna use my hyaluronic acid. I haven't used it in literally so long, but today is gonna be the day I use it again because I feel like I always use it when I'm in a rush because I don't have time. I bet you a hundred million pounds that this didn't work and that I just wasted my bloody time and then wasted my sleep. I saw someone put this on before starting their makeup to make it like stick so I was like mm, why not try it because like I remember to try it so yay. I don't know where I got this. Is that it? No. Where's my brush? Hello? Oh actually where it's supposed to be you can't come at me i only did two pieces of skincare okay you can keep your cotton socks on calm your pants i have my pe course work due tomorrow <laughs> and like i did it but like i feel like i didn't finish it properly like it's finished but like oh it's stressing me out <laughs> i can't do it i can't do it oh my god eight minutes Se seven minutes bro ah! I'm stressed. This is not good. This is not good for a Wednesday morning. Like, why? 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 Okay, I'm not being funny when I tell you. I have five minutes. And I got to put my contour. Okay, panic over. I literally just, like, went around my whole room. But it's fine. It was on the floor, under my desk. Like, every single thing is because I literally toss everything to the side when I, like, start revising. So I'm like, please space my computer. <sighs> anyway, right. Panic over. For like two seconds but now i need to panic again because i need to hurry my bum up i was about to say a rude word there okay at least we haven't had any bad disasters because i actually want to cry my makeup is actually turning out okay it's turning out okay we're all okay we can stay calmish right i still need to be fast but we can be calm okay i have three minutes i'm so proud of myself i made like this sort of like timetable for like all the hours i do leading up to my gccs these little things this is how many weeks I have left in my GCSE. What? But it's fine. I'm actually committed. I'm committed. I'm doing it. Right? I can do it. I'm. Yeah, I can do it. Like my GCSE is my whole primary school to secondary school life has led up to these next few weeks. If I don't do well, I'm literally gonna regret forever. My brush smells so funny because I have like the um. Benetton, I put Benetton on yesterday as well as this, now it smells like funky. Ugh. Don't know why I decided to use funky as the word, but that's it. Okay, I have two minutes. Let's do my mascara. Okay, I think I'm done. I am actually, I have, I'm one minute late because mascara takes me so long. I'm one minute late. Okay, quickly this and then I'm done. I need to make sure I don't forget my blazer because I have assembly today, but I'm going to take this hair out and I'll be right back. Bye, guys. Seeing how fast I can get ready, part two. Start. So I don't think I'll be able to beat my old time, to be honest, because that's when I had way less steps. I'm only going to use one toner for today. I think you could assume just by the fact that I'm doing this video that I am running late. Pretty much just woke up late. This is not new information. But anyway, we got things to do. This week is jam-packed with things. I know a lot of people have spring break at the end of the week. I do not. I also have to do really good with Get Ready With Me's this week because last week was really bad because I went to school like twice and i know some people were dming me oh i did not have covid and yes i do feel better i'm pretty sure i had the flu all right time to prime i did my skincare in about three minutes which is not bad at all i'm getting started with my concealer because it has to sit on my face i also keep forgetting that this week is ivy week which i talked about it on live yesterday on my spam account but this week's gonna have people stressed out i only applied to one ivy but i didn't really apply under the impression that i was getting in my eyebrows took up so much time, like, the birds are chirping this morning. They're okay, finishing up. Ooh, the timer ended at 12 minutes. Deuces, deuces, and deuces. Hey guys, get ready with us for the new Sir TikTok house day two. Today, we're going to have breakfast in the morning, and then we're going to Pilates, which I'm super excited for. So excited. I've always wanted to do Pilates. And tonight, we're going to see the new Ghostbusters movie, which I'm so excited to see. So excited. Because we have Pilates this morning, I'm only doing light makeup, because probably gonna like come all off 
But this is the only bronze I bring. So it's already been one day and I've lost a nail. <gasps> yeah. It's still in the car somewhere. It's in the car, it's missing. Oh, that was a lot. Guess what we got last night? Yochi. <laughs> yep. I don't have Yochi where I live, so that's why it's very exciting when I go somewhere and there's Yochi. Yeah. And I also tried the Asai one. Actually, it wasn't that bad. The house is beautiful. Yeah. The place we're staying is like really cool. It's like so aesthetic as well. Like, mm. Every room is so nice. Oh, the living room, like the couches. Yeah. They're so pretty. I'd get them so dirty because they're like white. <laughs> they're full on white. I'm hoping my makeup is blended right now because I'm just going off my phone. Yeah. I don't have a mirror. I'm just going to set my face now because I want this to stay on. All day. Yeah. My eyes look so like puffy and just not awake. <laughs> I just, I just tried to put this on. <laughs> I'm gonna do my brows now. This is running out. We've currently got three cameras going. It's great fun. So. Woke up at like seven. It's only 8.23 right now. Yeah, we set our alarm for eight o'clock yeah. and we woke up at seven. But I don't think we're having breakfast till like nine, I think. Yeah. So oh, that's only like half an hour. Yeah. I'm just gonna put some highlighter on. I didn't bring my pad on because I was scared it was gonna smash. I brought this one from MK Beauty. This is like so old. <laughs> this is like one of their oldest products. I swear. I think it is. True fan. I'm a true fan. I'm gonna finish off with my lips. We got some cute clothes from Beginning Boutique yesterday, so I'll do some TikToks in them as well. And now we are already for the day. Bye guys. See ya. <laughs> I'm like genuinely so scared right now. Um, so I'm getting ready to go have lunch with my boyfriend and his mom for the first time. I'm actually so nervous. I've never met his mom. I've met his dad, like briefly like just when i'm at his house or whatever but i've never like like this is like a sit down meal i don't know why the retouch filter was on that would, looked really weird i was like something was off and i couldn't tell what it was <laughs> guys actually though what do i even talk about like like i've literally never i said hi to her like the other day and that's the extent of our interactions like what do i say i'm praying this is just gonna be like a quick little i don't know like hour long thing but i don't know i just got this new kylie bronzer at ulta because i needed a new bronzer it might be kind of dark, so that's kind of scary. Oh, there you are. I don't know. I found out that my old bronzer was, like, kind of breaking me out, so I just, like, I needed to get a new one, like, as soon as possible. That's another little side note for you. If you use the Benefit Hula bronzer and you're, like, breaking out, it's probably the bronzer. Bro, I'm, like, trying to distract myself by, like, doing this video, but I don't know. I'm, like, I'm just so scared. <laughs> like, actually, what if she just genuinely hates me? Like, then what do we do? He's probably watching this right now, and he's just like, bruh, like... Calm down, it's fine. I feel like a lot has changed in my life lately, so I'm gonna make a video soon, just like life updates and stuff. Wait, they're gonna be here in like 20 minutes to get me, so I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna be done now. I'm just gonna leave it. Hey guys, get ready with me. Okay, so first I'm getting ready to go to my boyfriend's house, and then I'm getting picked up and going to all my friends, and then we're going to my friend's house tonight. Very happy today, it's kind of busy because like last night, like I did something after school, but I didn't do anything like last night, and I just hate doing nothing. It's my least favorite thing ever. I know, I'm just mixing in the Frillian's bronzing drops with um, Drunk Elephant moisturizer. I'm also going in with the Frillian's primer just because it helps me make up last all day, which I need because it's 12.30 right now and I'm not going to take this off until probably like 11. Plus, it gives you like a really glowy base, which I always love. Okay, I'm going in with a little bit of e.l.f. Halo Glow. Sorry, it was like on the bottle, so I was trying to get it off. Um, just because I want to even out my skin tone and I just like feel gross. I feel like I don't really talk about this product that much because normally I'm not really doing like full faces of makeup since I should get ready to make or like for school but I truly do love it. I think it's really good and it blends in super nicely. I just did brows now we're going with NARS concealer and just covering like my dark circles and any pimples or anything. I'm also running like decently late like I should leave in about 10 minutes because I'm gonna be out to wear. I still don't even know if I'm gonna wear this. I think I will. Just going with Rare Beauty Bronzer that's like low-key too dark for me, but I just refuse to accept it because the formula is too good that I don't stop using it for the winter. And like I should just get a lighter shade, but I'm also like really broke. So we just go for the uber bronze look. Going in with the Brilliance Cream Blush in Very Very Glow, just because it's very pretty. I accidentally put it up like way too high and I feel like I look like I have a black eye. Okay, I went with like a different shade of blush like in the middle area, area and I think I fixed it. Also, I slept in a break and I feel like my hair looks weird. Okay, I have a powder on my face and then I was watching an old get ready of mine like from summer. Like it just came up on like notifications. I just like click on it. I don't like watch my old get ready because I don't want you guys to think that. 
but I used to always use this Thrive Brown Eyeliner and I kind of forgot about it and haven't used it in forever. But I really like the way it looked, so I'm using it today. I'm using this mini like eye doll and comb mascara. <laughs> okay, finally the mascara is not that bad because recently I've been having like horrible mascara days. Like it's been horrible. I'm sorry, it sounds so dramatic. I was like so annoying to me. I just meant like I've been looking really bad. Okay, I just got my palette tonic and I'm just setting everything with this size right. Definitely need to leave, but we're using the NYX lip liner in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I'm going to teen this lip balm that just like stains your lips hot pink. I just thought all day I can just use the Frilliance clear gloss because I love the formula, but Loki wish it was pink. I don't really have a cherry one though, but I don't have it, so this is what we do for now. Okay, that's our finished get ready with me. Hopefully the makeup lasts throughout the day or just doesn't look pro. Bye guys. I literally could not get over how sunny it is today. Like, I've actually had to shut my blind because I couldn't see anything. Anyway, get ready for me to go to my friend's house and watch some football. That is a sentence I thought I would never say, but I'm so excited for the Euros this summer. I literally am not really a football gal. Like, I'm never really a bit interested in it. But for some reason, like, last time it was the Euros, literally the best experience of my life. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but I don't know. Like, I think I was in, like, year nine, maybe at the time it was last Euros, but it was literally so fun. Like, I literally remember going into school being, like, genuinely excited. Anyway, yeah, me and my friends are just meeting up to watch the football because we've got nothing else to do, so why not? I'm gonna use my new hue drops oh that was a lot because i faked hand like two nights ago but i went to a party last night for some reason when i do a full face makeup my fake hand just comes straight off so we have to do something i've already got my outfit on i've literally just gone with some black motel jeans and this ralph Lauren top i don't really know what everyone's wearing because there's a group chat so i need to actually um see what everyone's wearing but i just kind of want to be comfy i don't know why so for like jeans and a top it's kind of like the jeans kind of dress up but the top's still comfy so i need to stop waffling because i have half an hour to do my makeup because every time i have the whole day to like get ready i literally leave just for the last minute. Went to a party last night, so me and Libby stayed at Eva's last night, and I literally got back. I drove us home at like, I got back before midday, and it's now half past five, and I've literally just sat in my bed all day. It's really bad. I'm like not gonna put any proper primer on because I think it is breaking me out, and I just hate the feeling of it. Although, to be honest, I don't feel as guilty as I normally do about not doing any work today because I managed to do it all yesterday in like the ILC. I literally did so much geography work. It took me three hours to do this like project on like field work. It was so boring, but I finally got it done. See, look at the weather. Like, on early it was raining, and I was so annoyed because I was like, oh my god, like it's actually ruined my day and now all of a sudden it's sunny again like what it's fine though i'm not complaining because i'm actually so happy that the evenings are getting lighter now like it's half past five and it's really sunny outside like i can't believe it i honestly have no clue what to do with my hair because i washed it um yesterday morning but it's still a little bit greasy so it still kind of has a curl as well so i don't really know might put it up maybe because i literally never wear my hair up like when i go out like to a gathering or something i don't know why so maybe today's the day also i have a massive spot on my chin oh my god this lighting is really getting on my nerves i have a massive spot on my chin and it's like not going so i'm just gonna have to embrace it decided to drive as well because he doesn't live too far away from my house so i think i might as well because i literally need to stop asking my dad to drop me everywhere because i owe him so many lifts now also in case you haven't noticed i literally put a bookshelf up i'm doing like a new series i'm gonna do like a massive vlog of me like redecorating my whole room because i just decided to redecorate it so there we go anyway so that was part one and then i need to order some like more furniture i don't really know what to get though because i always change my mind on like what i want my room to look like so i'm very indecisive so i need to actually pick something out i've had another like no makeup day today because in my head every time i don't wear makeup it goes better in the evening so i'm hoping the same applies tonight i need to have a really big reset day tomorrow though because i don't think i'm riding so i literally have the whole day and i don't have any homework to do so i'm literally just gonna deep clean my entire room obviously i'll do a little vlog but um yeah i definitely need to do it i've been like trying to plan out my summer outfits but again i just don't know where to like buy everything from i just have no room for any of my clothes like i still have so many winter clothes that i didn't even get to wear this year like it's so bad i need to stop spending my money oh on friday i had to fill up my petrol as well I'm literally the most humbling experience ever i hate it i hate it because it's like 50 quid each time and it just feels like i'm not gaining anything from it like the amount of stuff you could buy 50 quid it's actually ridiculous oh, i was gonna put fake freckles on actually i'm still gonna do it but because oh, obviously it's a tint so i need to like peel them off before i do the next step i think we're getting really hot flushes i don't know what it is maybe it's just because i'm stressing for no reason but for literally the last few days i keep getting really hot and then really really cold i literally always decide to do fake freckles when i'm in a rush and i don't have time to redo my makeup and i regret it every single time yet here i am doing it again okay i've kind of rubbed them off but you can still kind of see them and i'm kind of liking it I've made up with this blush again and i'm back to using it but i'm kind of running out and i feel like it's definitely not worth the money i wouldn't recommend it to anyone but the shade's just really nice which is why i keep using it also 
I am low-key aware that every get ready me, I talk about like the same things every time. But every like I don't know why I do it, but I do. I'm so annoyed though because so many people broke up for Easter like this week and I still have a whole nother week. And to be fair, Tuesday's my day off and I have Friday off, so it's only a three-day week and I've got a geography trip on the Wednesday. But still, that's still two days, like full days of school that are really unnecessary. Like I just want it to be Easter now. I can't believe it's Easter weekend next weekend. Like I'm so excited to eat chocolate for a whole day straight. Like it's one of my favourite days ever. Easter's come around so quickly though, because I always like, oh my god, I love Easter, I love Easter, but like, how is it already Easter? Yeah, I'm gonna set my face now and then set it again at the end because I didn't put any primer on, so I need it to last as best I can. To be fair, those bronzing drops are so good. Like my face is looking so much better than it was before, but I'm just gonna add, oh no, my hair's got, oh, my hair's gonna be so greasy. I hate it when it's greasy. Like it's literally day two and I wanna wash it already because I really don't wanna slick it. So I'm thinking either just put dry shampoo in it, but I hate the feeling of dry shampoo in my hair. I don't know if anyone else gets this, but it's literally just the worst feeling ever and I can't stand it. So I don't really know. Guys, I've seen so many angel numbers today. Like it was 11, 11 this morning and then it was 2, 2, 2 when I was like looking at my phone, like to check the time. And then now I literally stopped it and it was at 4, 4, 4. What is going on? Should have done this before bronzer, but I forgot. So I'm now gonna do powder. Did I do it? No, I didn't. Oh my God, I should have done this like ages ago. Okay, my favorite time, mascara. Okay guys, I've just done my eye makeup. I did a tiny bit of eyeshadow as well, but my parents just came into room. I spoke to them for ages. So now it is, I'm running really behind basically. So I need to speed it up. I just realized I left my lipstick in Libby's handbag yesterday. So I just have the lip liner and then I'm just gonna put some lip balm on, I think. I'm gonna add this really dark cleanse lip oil in the shade 03 um over the top okay i'm just gonna put a final layer of setting spray and then just quickly decide what to do with my hair okay i just put jewelry on and i put some dry shampoo in my hair i think i'm just gonna leave it down because it's all actually i'm not liking my makeup and i'm not liking my hair but my hair's not looking awful but i feel like i should put it up okay guys hear me out i might be going with a ponytail i'm not a ponytail gal at the moment but like I don't really have any other options. I literally have no glue. I feel like I don't like a ponytail on myself, but then every time I have one, people say that they like my hair. So I don't know. Okay, I wasn't liking the hair, so I've changed it. I've just done this like half up like bun. Okay, why is my phone moving? I don't know, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking my makeup. I'm not liking my hair, and I'm not even really liking my outfit. So I'm just in like a really good mood right now. Anyway, for perfume, I'm gonna go with this body spray from Sol de Janeiro and then my Red Temptation Zara one. Like I literally always do. I really wanna wear this coat because I feel like I need to get as much wear out of it as possible before like summer. But I feel like this coat is gonna go better. So I literally don't know. Okay, guys, this coat goes better. So I think I'm just gonna have to go with this one. Okay, I really need to go, but quick lash appreciation because I actually can't believe these are my natural lashes. Honestly, guys, lash serum will change the game. Okay, guys, here is the final fit check with the trainers. It's very basic. I think um, some of the other girls are wearing like corset tops and jeans. So maybe I should have, I don't even know. Anyway, I've got dressed into it now, so I can't be bothered to change. Anyway, guys, that's the get ready of me done. I'm off to go and watch some football. Yay. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, let's try out a new product. So Koji sent over their white Kojic Acid Skin Brightening Soap Cleansing Bar. That was a lot to say, but I'm so excited to see what this is. I've actually already had a look at what it is and it looks so exciting. So basically what this is, it's a cleansing bar that's meant to make your skin slowly brighter over time. It's also meant to reduce redness, which would be amazing for my skin. And it's also just meant to enhance the look of your skin and just make it look healthier. In the pack, it actually comes with two of these, but I'm only going to be needing one. These literally smell like tangerines. They smell so good. Apparently, these also contain like natural AHAs, which are a natural ingredient for like gentle exfoliation. So they're not going to harm young skin, which is really good. Oh my god, this smells so good. So what you have to do, you just have to get your face wet and then just start kind of like cleansing your face. Just popped on a band and also took off my little pimple patch. And I'm just going to wet my face with water. So I'm just going to use my spray bottle and basically just like drench my face. Next, you're literally just meant to start rubbing it on your skin. So that is exactly what I'm going to start doing. Oh my god, it's already working. This is also formulated with coconut and hyaluronic acid, and they are meant to hydrate and nourish your skin. This is taking my makeup off so easily. It's also meant to help with dark spots, which is really good for aged skin as well. And I'm pretty sure this is kind of like one of those products where the more you use it, the better your skin will get like over time. No way. What? How is it taking my mascara off that easily? Okay, I look pretty crazy, but I'm going to go rinse all of this off and then I will show you guys the results. Okay, here is my skin immediately after rinsing. 
Normally with a type of like cleanser like this, I like to go in with another cleanse because it really just doesn't get into my skin and get all the grime off. But with this one, it really did make my skin feel so clean. Like I feel so fresh. And if I continue to use this, I really hope it can get rid of my redness because that is what it's supposed to do. But yeah, I really enjoyed this and you guys can shop this through the link in my bio. And if you want to get some dollars off, here is my discount code that you can use when you go to check out. Hi guys. Not everything is about you. A lot of people struggle with this because like, you just they just think everything revolves around them. And it doesn't. It doesn't. It Obviously people are going to do things with their life that you don't like. But it's not always going to be because they think you won't like it. Not everybody has it out to get you. And you don't have to make it be that way. I also don't understand why people's first instincts is to just straight up post everything. Nobody else needs to know until the issue is done. And that also goes with like telling somebody else your drama or your, like, your issue with somebody before you go and tell that person your issue with them. Like Especially as a teenager, you're going to feel like people are out to get you. But I feel like nobody's sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, how can I get blank and blank upset no like just because they're doing something you don't like doesn't mean they're doing it because you don't like it it's because they want to do it social media ruins a lot why let it ruin your relationship or your friendship nine times out of ten i feel like people lie on social media so you're only going to get to hear the one side you're not going to get to hear the whole story and then people are just going to have their input and you don't want people to have their input when they don't know the whole story now i'm just talking about this because i was live yesterday and a lot of people were like oh my gosh like my best friend posted this or like my sister did this or like da 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 like why let social media ruin everything you have it's social media it can get taken away so easily and then also if you have a big following on social media the people who follow you are going to go after the other people do you want that? And if you do, you need to rethink everything because you don't want to influence people to be the way that you are. Like, I know there are people who go viral because, like, drama. Why do you want that? A lot of people post, like, their emotions and, like, everything because it's a way to cope. But if you need to post it, don't post every little aspect of every little thing. Don't post every little conversation or every little text you get. Why would you do that? There has to be a boundary between your personal life and your online life. And sorry to say if you don't realize that, but that's just how it has to be. Because how would you like it if somebody who follows you comes up to you in public and they're like, Oh my gosh, remember when so-and-so said so-and-so and you're like, how do you know about that? Because you posted it. Exactly. Then they're going to go and tell their friends. And their friends are going to tell everybody. It's going to go around the world if you put it on the internet. Anyway, just my little rant. Have a great day. I love you guys so much. Bye. Get ready with me for snow days. It's currently 5.03. We're going to leave around 6. The dance starts at 7.30. But we're going to go out and eat before. I'm here with Kaylee and Maria right now. Okay, Kaylee is wearing black. Maria is wearing red. And I'm wearing blue. We're giving very patriotic. We just need our white. And I just used the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. I need to look very bronze because we're taking pictures beforehand. And we're going to use Maria's digital camera. Honestly, our school dances aren't that good. We're just going to take pictures and then get food. So... Our plan right now is to stay till like 9, 9.30 because as Kaylee said, our dances can get pretty awkward, but then people start to like loosen up halfway through it. Maria's doing her hair right now. She's going for like an updo kind of look. I'm just going to leave mine down and Kaylee straightened hers. We're going to be taking lots of pictures after this. I'm going to post it on my Instagram, so be sure to check it out. Now I'm going to use the Neutrogena Foundation Serum. Last time I made like my dance get ready with me, everyone was asking what this was, so. I'm making Kaylee the DJ because right now there's like no shuffle on Maria's TV. Oh, this not song is a banger. You already yeah, know. You not already my know. Music. Okay, I'm using Maria's Rare Beauty Contour Stick. <laughs> not the ad. Oh my gosh. We're currently waiting for the ads because it's not giving, but. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong bronzer and I just broke that this morning, so. Oh. <laughs> Kaylee's joining me <laughs> to do her makeup because we're running low on time. Ah! I know you want to appear in I'm a savage. Booty magic. It is winter time, so you already know we gotta get heavy on this bronzer. Okay, Elf Putty Blush. 
I honestly, I've been using a brush for my blush recently and it honestly looks so much better, that rhyme pad. Sticks and stone, chrome on chrome, that's just oh, that what I'm doing. <laughs> chromosomes? <laughs> Your little what was that, pies? My butt, girl. <laughs> Gilly. What was that? <laughs> Kaylee's freaking Kaylee's foundation just squirted everywhere. I can't find my powder puff. I'm trying to convince Maria to ask her mom to get a powder puff because I forgot mine. I'm just waiting to get a powder puff. Kaylee's doing her makeup. Maria's doing her hair. Why am I shaking? Okay, we don't have a powder puff, so we're gonna make shift and use my here. Okay, that actually looks quite smooth. I thought it was gonna look way worse, but I think this will work good. Okay, also off camera, I did my lip liner and I used the Benetton. Okay, now we're gonna do lashes. Maria's going back to her origin. She's doing eyeliner tonight. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. No, she's going for a Tara Yummy vibe. She's going back to her origin. Okay. Okay, the lashes need to be giving tonight, so I'm gonna be doing one at a time, and I really need to focus. This is one coat, and it already looks so good. Okay, now I'm gonna use my two favorite Sweet Beauty mascaras. Okay, this lash is done. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Ain't nothing but a gangster party. We were talking about Ice Cube's concert. Both Maria and I went. Then it rained and they canceled it even though it stopped raining. Like, like he literally finished one song and then they canceled it. This is so awkward. I honestly have nothing to talk about. Like nothing eventful has happened. I am going to be going on like a little weekend trip soon to the cities and I'm going to see my boyfriend for his meet. He has some track meet at this university and then I'm going to go prom dress shopping the day before. It's only 5.30. I thought we were going to be really like late kind of, but we kind of got ready like at a decent time. Maria was originally going to take a nap, but good thing she didn't because she would be stressing right now. <laughs> Every time okay, we're brushing the curls out. And I've already set my face and everything. Okay, quick kombucha break. I low-key really don't like this flavor that much, but we need to deep bloat before we take pictures. Oh, it's a little sour, but it's okay. Ah. Okay, lastly, highlighter, and I'm going to be using Maria's Rare Beauty Highlighter because this shit is pigmented. Okay, but that is it for my Get Ready With Me. Love you guys so much. Bye!